downtown Chattanooga. I am across the river from the, uh, where is it, right over here, the Tennessee Aquarium, and I am taking some long exposure shots. Hang on just a second, I'll be right back. Okay, not only am I taking long exposure, but I'm also taking long exposure pano. So my goal is to twofold. One is to get a pretty nice shot across the river at sunrise with the light still on and get a decent panorama shot that I could do either in color or in black and white. That's goal number one. Goal number two is to be able to practice something that Scott Kelby taught in his travel photography blog uh, or travel photography video on YouTube, which is to fake a reflection. Now I've got a little bit of a reflection here that you can see and it, and it may turn out fine, but I also want to sort of practice doing that so that I can learn to manipulate images more in an artistic mode than I have previously done. So that's the goal. So I have this set up to do several shots from here over to about here. And I have to operate pretty quickly because the sun changes so rapidly at sunrise. And right now I'm shooting at F11. I have a 10 second exposure. I'm not too worried about getting this to look like glass, which would, which would mean a four or five minute exposure. I may do that after the sun comes up. But with the sun changing so much, um, it is, it is difficult to judge if I'm gonna overexpose it based on the, the message that I get now. I do have a three-stop graduated neutral density filter on the front, and I think another three-stop filter just to sort of cut things down just a little bit. And we are working our magic. So every time I come back to start over again, I've gotta take a shorter and shorter shot. Um, because the sun is starting to come up. But this is the new toy that I have here, which is the ability to know exactly where 15 degrees is between each shot. It's a pano head, and I got it because sometimes when I'm using a 10 stop or a 15 stop neutral density filter, I can't know exactly how far I've gone with the next shot. And I didn't bring uh, my 10 stop or 15 stop out here. I just brought um, all of the different gradients I have. So I can start adding things if I want to, to get longer exposures as the sun comes up. Uh, right now, I'm just taking the same pano shot over and over and over to see what the sky looks like when I get done, to see what the water looks like when I get done. Uh, and I took a few, before I had to put a filter on, I took a few at F25 in order to try to get some starburst in the lights. And while the lights are still on, I'm, because I'm using my uh, 24 to 240, uh, I may try to zoom in on the aquarium with the lights around that and try to get that again before the lights click off um, with, um, starburst in the lights because I really like that look, especially in black and white. And as long as I still have just a bit of a reflection here or I can fake the reflection, um, I'll have what I want. So we'll check it out and see. All right, so I'm almost done here. Getting a few more shots because you can't really see it, but this sky up here, oh my God, it is just, so awesome. Let me see if I can pull this down a little bit where you can sort of see what I'm seeing back there. Oh yeah, with long exposure blur. Oh my goodness. It is, it is going to be epic as opposed to Nakalua Falls, which was epic fail. I'm hoping this is going to be epic, full stop. Um, well, I got you here. Let me just say that you'll notice I am using my uh, Rode microphone with the uh, cat head on it, dead cat, whatever it's called. 
Um, and there's a story about that. So recently I took a trip to Nashville to do some uh, street photography with a friend of mine and we stayed overnight in a hotel and when I got home, I could not find my Rode wireless mic anywhere. I pulled out everything out of my camera bag. I pulled everything out of my overnight bag. I took my clothes in and I realized I must have left it in the hotel room. So I called the hotel, they looked for it, um, never got back to me, so I ordered a new one. Now, you know, they're only $200, but still that's $200. The day I opened the package, <laughs> I found my old set. So now I have two. And I've always wanted to use the dead cat outside sort of cut down on the ambient noise but it keeps falling off and i keep losing them so on this one right here let's see if i can turn here maybe where you can see on this one right here i have super glued it to this rode wireless mic so that i have an external set and an internal set i'm good to go until next time enjoy the coffee please subscribe to the channel if you're still here and hit the like button it makes me feel better Thanks.